Welcome to Absolute Drinks with Rico. I'm Rico. And I'm Hedda. And today I'm going to show you how I make my twist on a Bloody Mary called Tomato Tumbler. And I'm going to show you my little twist, the Bloody Soul. Should I start? I would love for you to start. All right. It's perfectly spicy, balanced very well together with the fresh mm. tomato juice and lemon juice. It's a little bit more lighter in style. A simple recipe, but we're going to focus on one of the most important ingredients in this drink, and that's the tomatoes. So we're going to centrifuge and use fresh tomato juice. So this is going to be more like gazpacho as opposed to passata. Yeah. I like this. Get into it. So we're going to start with 10 ml of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Four dashes of hot sauce, your preference mm -hmm. on what you can find in the store. Mm. Pinch of salt. And we're gonna add some pepper to this one. And like we said before, this is your mm. preference on how much spiciness you want to your Bloody Mary. I'm gonna add a little bit extra. So we want to add some lemon juice to freshen up this one a little mm -hmm. bit. So we're gonna add 10 ml of lemon juice. So let's centrifuge all the tomatoes. Let's start juicing. So the leftovers that you have in the machine you can use for cooking or whatever. And we want to strain the tomato juice because we don't want like the pulps of the tomatoes. And why we're doing like this is to help all the tomato juice coming through. You can see how it's almost clarified on all the colours up here and the juice and water down here. Now we're going to add about 120 ml of tomato juice. And to the most important ingredient, absolute original. 45 minutes. The magic number. I don't want to serve my Bloody Mary on ice because I like the thicker texture it gets. So I'm just going to stir it to make it a little bit colder. So you're going to serve this straight up? Straight up. Nice. In a rocks glass highball-ish, a fancy glass. We're going to call it a tiny tumbler. Tiny tumbler. A tiny tumbler. Tiny tumbler. Right. Tiny tumbler. I'm going to make this one beautiful with some garnish. And this is your preference on what you like to have in your Bloody Mary. I like celery. Mm -hmm. I also like cucumber. Nice. So I'm gonna make a thin little slice here. And also an olive because it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna stick all these garnishes on mm. a tiny little stick that I found. Use whatever you can find or just put all your garnish in the drink. That looks great. Yeah. I like that. Look at that little baby. We've got Sounds a tomato good. tumbler. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to try this one. So cute mm. with your two hands. I wish I really enjoyed the tomato juice just because that does look fantastic. I think now I might make a drink that I might actually like put in my mouth today. Wow. We're stepping things up. I'm excited. Bloody soul. The gojonyeon works perfectly in here. That little bit of soy sauce, yeah. it's giving that Korean type of flavor. I'm gonna try and make something totally off the wall and not really like a Bloody Mary, but still the same type of thing. Cause you know, I do not like tomato juice. With my shaker, I'm gonna take my small little shaker. Cheapest ingredients first. I wanna have a little bit of lemon juice. Sure. That's gonna be the one thing that keeps us together. So first, I'm just gonna freshly squeeze that. And I'm gonna put some quite intense flavors in here. So I'm gonna go with 15 ml, just in case. That extra five mil may help cut through everything that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna add any salt to my Bloody Mary. I know it's a little bit crazy, but I'm actually gonna add some mushroom soy sauce, roughly around 10 mil. We may need some more, we may need some less, but we'll figure that out as we go along. Already smelling good. Could you pass me the black pepper? Of course. I still want that black pepper crunch. I love black pepper, so I still want that in there. I like a lot. And next up, I'm gonna put my spices in there. Take a little bit of uh, ground cumin. And there's a reason I'm gonna use cumin, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. But just gonna put a little pinch in for now, and then we'll see how that fares. Next up, one of the best spices you can get, which is called goju yang. Goju yang, goju yang, goju yang. Goju yang, it's Korean chili paste, red chilies, fermented with glutinous rice. It's the base of most Korean food. So we're gonna start with just one big splodge. Now, I'm gonna put two because I love it so much. I'm um, gonna take another spoon. Just wanna blend everything together because this, as you can see, it's a really thick sauce. So we need to really like 
loosen it up so that these flavors are gonna like transcend throughout the whole drink. Mmm. Wanna just really stir it up just to make sure that everything's together. Oh, this smells fantastic. Oh, that's good. Okay, what's next? Next, I'm gonna put the hero of the drink in. Absolute vodka, best vodka in the world. You know what the magic number is. 45. We're gonna go 45. Straight in there. As I've already said, I hate tomato juice. We're gonna juice some carrots and I'm gonna use carrot juice instead. What we're gonna do, cause we're using the centrifuge juicer and um, we don't actually really need to peel the carrots because what happens in here is it will actually separate the juice from all the solids. But I am gonna cut the top of the carrot off just because we don't want that in the juice. So just real nice, take the top off. Let's go to the juicer. All that orange goodness. So we're gonna take our glass. This is what we're gonna be building our drink into. We've already got a beautiful spice mix going on in here and we've got the vodka in here. So before we get going, I'm gonna add some carrot juice directly into here. We're gonna go for one, that's 50, that's 100, that's 150 ml of carrot juice. And then we're gonna ice up, great. And then we're gonna simply roll this drink. Mm -mm. Now, I wanna give this a little taste beforehand. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, just because I wanna intensify the flavors a little bit. Intensify, it's like intense while flying. I just wanna intensify the flavors a little bit. It's perfectly spicy. Next up, we're gonna ice up. Ooh, we're gonna take our half on. I'm gonna pour straight in. That looks good. Oh yeah, and last but not least, I'm gonna garnish with a chili. Why? Because I can, it's that simple. Right down the middle, so we get a nice chili cutaway. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the side. Actually, if you want this to be a little bit spicier, you can just dip the chili in, because those juices will start to get in. Plus, you've got those chili seeds right there. And we all know, take the seeds out, unless you like spice. But I'm gonna have a taste. That's goddamn delicious. Can I try it? Please do. Mmm. Were you expecting that, Miss Bruce? No. Replacing the tomato juice with carrot juice works very well. Yep. So, very good tip if you don't like tomatoes. But, Heather Bruce, thank yeah. you so much. Well, thank you. Showing us a fantastic twist on a Bloody Mary. So I think what you can clearly see here as well is taking those ideas of the original Bloody Mary and running any direction you want to go can create great drinks that are completely different but still have that core DNA of being a Bloody Mary in. We broke all the rules, just kept the DNA correct. Yeah. 